So the next general Aikido movement idea or principle that we'd like to think about is uh, generally referred to as same hand and foot. And, and by that we just mean that if Damon's right foot is forward, he wants to also extend his right hand forward. He wants to maintain a relationship between this hand and this foot, and when the other foot comes forward, then this hand and this foot. This is a, a preference that we put in place to accommodate the activity of bridging. So as he's trying to bridge weight at me, and I give him some resistance, if he brings his other foot forward, his outside foot, he will manage to keep structure. Yeah, go ahead and stay strong here. He managed to keep structure, but his, his force of his center falling is having to go through a line of activity to keep his hips transmitting from this side to this side. So, uh, let's start over. Blah, 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 blah. blah. So the next activity I'd like to take a look at in terms of Aikido principles is, uh, is same hand and foot. And same hand and foot is, is, a, is referred to in Japanese movement as namba. And namba just means that we're bringing our hand and foot in relation to each other. This is a very strange type of movement. Almost all human activity when we're walking around is based on a, a, a heterolateral movement. In other words, the balancing action of the upper body to the opposite foot. So the leg is swinging and the opposite arm swings to counterbalance it in normal human moving around. So walking swiftly, you have this sort of thing followed by this sort of thing. That's, that's how we're built. Heteral, act, uh, that's, that's heterolateral. Homolateral movement, namba, brings us into relationship so that our same hand and foot get invoked. So as he steps forward with this side, this hand comes out, and as he steps forward with this side, this hand comes out. So that we're actually creating a structure there that gives him the optimal ability to, to transfer weight from his feet to his hands. But it's not the normal thing. It's not the opposite hand and foot thing. It's the same hand and foot thing. And that gives us that bridging that we've looked at before. So he can pick up that same hand and foot and bridge weight through his arm very easily. If he's going to take a step back and I'm holding, he wants to, how does, how does he want to pull back? If I'm holding this strong, would he want to put, pick up his back leg first and try to lift? No. He wants to drop his front leg back and drive, yeah, and pull through, just like a, pulling a rope. So whether it's going forward or backward, you have the optimal bridging activity coming out of, a, a, out of the same hand and foot relationship. This is really, really critical for moments when you get into a contest of power or a contest of structural power. So not so much like we're going to see who's stronger here, but you, you, you wind up, say, in a position like uh, what commonly happens in Oshitoshi. So we're here, and we're trying to deliver energy into his, into his center line and cause him to rock over this way. And maybe I'm much smaller and he's much bigger, and if I happen to be in the opposite hand and foot relationship and I try to bridge up, I may have a little fight here. I may have a little trouble. I may try to push into this and just lean on me. Come on, lean, lean, lean. Yeah, I may kind of get bound up in my low back because the transmission of energy in the bridge from the back foot is going through a, a twist in the spine, going from the hips to the shoulders. There's an activity of, of transmission that's not a straight line. So you wind up here trying to push with the wrong foot, well, not the wrong foot, but with the opposite foot, the normal human foot to have in this position. And when you get here, you feel a bind happening in the low back. And you, you may be overwhelmed here. It might cause you to go into spine lock. When you feel that kind of condition occur, you want to have yourself trained to automatically revert into the same hand and foot relationship. Now he can lean with all his body weight and bridge at me, and my bridge is still going to have the power required to deliver the energy into that relationship. So we're not saying when we talk about same hand and foot that you must always be in these same hand and foot relationships. 
You just always have to know that that's the place you go to when you have to. <laughs> very, very often you have cases where you'll deliver energy with the opposite hand and foot relationship. It's very natural, it's very normal. But you have to train it into your system for Aikido application that when you do that normal natural thing and suddenly it's not working out the way it's supposed to be, that you've trained to immediately go from a, a, a position that's relatively weak, let's bring this foot forward, and you're pushing from this hand, and you start to bridge and bridge and bridge and bridge and bridge and bridge and bridge, and, bridge, and it's not getting anywhere. So drop that foot back immediately. Oh, yes. He immediately recovers. The signal comes through, this ain't working, and he's able to immediately make the shift to the efficient footwork. That's the point that we're looking at in same hand and foot relationship or namba. So, don't be confused. Often, often, often you will see even very advanced Aikido practitioners making throws with the other hand and foot forward. It's very typical. That just demonstrates that the whole picture was efficient enough it didn't require the delivery of a lot of energy. <laughs> And in good Aikido application, yeah, you're working in ounces, not foot-pounds of energy. And so it simply doesn't matter that much. It only matters when it matters. The situation becomes relevant to delivery of energy. Suddenly you're in a, you're in a, a, a static position of, oh, I'm being overwhelmed here. That's when it starts mattering. That's when it becomes very important to have the activity of same hand and foot drilled into your system so that you have a default fail-safe mechanism that you can rely on for your Aikido application. Thank you.